Hey guys, Jace Two Cents here. And you remember in that last vlog we did and we showed you just how much static electricity we were able to build up by wiggling our butts around in these chairs? That's exactly what we're gonna test today with our test subjects. Unfortunately, this computer might die today. You know, in hindsight, it was probably a bad idea to bet the car. I told you, never bet on red. Never bet on red. Didn't just say he's gonna help us out. Where is he anyway? I don't know. All I know is he said that we would know when he was close. How are we supposed to fit in this? I have actually an idea. We can do like... It's a V12. Yeah, it's a nice car. I'm sure that's what you're saying right now. No, no, it can't be quiet. Dude, I got you covered. Everything he needs in the trunk. Jay, in front of the car. Right. What the heck am I supposed to do with the Meshify C Mini? Dude, it's like the Meshify C Mini. You know what stuff you can fit in there? You'll get it figured out. You know what? I got an idea. To show you, we have a fully working computer right here. This is a Pentium G4560, right? Yeah, 4560. We're gonna we're gonna shock it and we're gonna test it. We're gonna have multiple people here try it out. We got Nick back there and Brian back there. Hi. All right, first things first, we do have it in a chassis. The chassis is designed to be a little bit like a Faraday cage. It's supposed to help alleviate some of the static. So that's one of the reasons why I don't have it sitting out flat. I'm trying to recreate what you might deal with at home. Don't do this. Don't try it. This is stupid. There's no reason to kill hardware like this if it does work. But what we're testing, modern hardware is supposed to be very, very resilient when it comes to ESD or electric, electronic static dictation. This right? Yes, I know that. No, seriously though, most modern motherboards and stuff have ESD capacitors on there which are designed to absorb any shock. But here's the thing, things like USB ports, and you know, audio jacks and stuff usually are not protected. So we're gonna test all of that. And the GTX 660 that is sitting on here, I'm pretty sure has no ESD protection. So I guess let's see what happens. You gonna move the paper towels out of the frame just cause it's like weird. No, he's gonna need them. <laughs> Dude, pick that up, hurry up. So I found that sitting on this chair, this is the autonomous chair with a mesh back and a, I don't know, cloth, but obviously is the, the charge. Now you see me like kind of turning and moving and stuff in your chair. Let's test this. Get in here, Phil. We're gonna start by touching the back of the graphics card. You can see it's working right there. Well, there wasn't much. The hard part is actually getting the ESD. And it's not as dry as it was the other day. And I look really stupid trying to get this. Oh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> but it's still on. <laughs> it's still working. Let's try, let's try that again. Why are you making that face, Nick? Cause this is the stupidest video I've ever done. I actually touched a memory chip. Let's try this one. Oh, ow. It's still going. Processor heat sink. This is the most stupid thing I think I've ever done. Oh, ah. <laughs> Why do I subject myself to this madness? Okay, it's still on. Still working. USB ports are usually the number one thing that you can kill on a computer. Let's do this. Come back here. I'm gonna touch. This 3.0 right there. Oh shit, it arced like all the way back here. Oh my God, it was like that far away. So let's plug this in. Still works. Well, I'll be damned. Anybody else want to try? Oh, but still works. It works. All right, so now we're gonna try USB on the front. We turned the lights out, hoping you guys can see the arc. You can obviously hear the click, but man, I like how you like, tr how you're just tracking me during this motion. It's like I'm getting all sexual with the chair. <laughs> we're going for this one. Nothing happened. They're not plugged into anything, that's why. Oh, that makes we'll sense. Do back again. It says a lot for the autonomous build quality. Now we're gonna use the paper clip to see if we can't like specifically point where we want the electricity to go. This is a lot for a 270 pound fat ass like me to do. Phil, if you're editing this, I don't think we need 
a montage of me do. Actually, you should do another yeah. thing. Use this. Whoa. Oh, dang. So if I switch this now, because that hit the port straight up. It's still working. Oh my god. Nick, you're up. Oh boy. <laughs> that, that, Beauty. You did it again, dude. I'm stuck now. <laughs> That'd be a better way. I feel like this is a Star Wars movie. We're always waiting for the secret weapon to charge. You may fire when ready. Commence primary ignition. Oh. Like seriously, how did no one should approve this fan? Because like, look, look at where Jay like. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> no, no. Now this video probably seems really stupid and like, why are they doing this? But not just because we shocked Nick in the chair the other day. ESD is a significant problem to electronics, but things have actually progressed as time's gone on in ESD protection. But we experienced something specifically with one of our camera monitors where I shocked it and it behaved strangely. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that for you right now. Again, as I chart, there's gotta be a better way to charge up. This has got our BIOS on it and you see how all I did was touch it? Look what happened to the screen. All I did was touch this monitor, and that's what happened. As you guys can see, it actually takes quite a bit to kill something with ESD. So anyway, thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you hated it, you know what to do. But if you like the fact that I was gyrating on a chair for 10 minutes and shocking a computer for the sake of viewership, why don't you hit that like button? If you're new around here, subscribe. And as always, guys, we'll see you in the next one. God, this was the worst video I did ever.